Right. Okay, so if you're into Hawkins or you're into advanced spiritual work or you're a very dedica dedicated spiritual student, um, what happens is that you put down every single distraction the ego has. So you put down the donuts, you put down the alcohol, you put down the drugs, you put down the love addiction, uh, the sex addiction, the codependency, the, uh, the relationship addiction. Uh, you put down the TV, uh, uh, the Netflix, uh, the YouTube, and uh, you, you see, like, is this something might you put down trying to think too much? And then it's like, you know, it's like, it becomes very, very extreme because you're on the pathway to enlightenment. And I do speak to some of these people, they do exist. And, uh, and they're very, very one point in mind. They'll put down everything. And, you know, okay, I put down the donuts now, I'll put down the alcohol, okay, I'll put down the opposite sex, okay, I put down the TV. And then, and they're very, very one, they have this one point of mind. We should do, do the Course in Miracles, you do get, it's like every 10 minutes. You know, do not allow your indulge your ego, and you're putting down thing after thing, and you go to twelve step meetings. You know how to go through the withdrawal. You know, I'm not going to let the ego get excitement out of this. You go through the pain of letting the donuts go for whatever long time. Then you let the TV go. Then you let the alcohol go. Then you let the the dating websites go. So you let them go, and then what happens is, and I get, the, I've had this from a few people. They say I'm bored. Uh, and they say, I'm, I ha you know, I haven't done it. It's like, and they're going to like, uh, they can go into periods of like boredom that go can go on for a while, typically. And uh, and their ego craves to do something to get out of the boredom, or they feel despondent, like, or they're worried that they can't take the boredom for too long, or they're starting to lose their spiritual inspiration to carry through the the boredom. So I, I've, I've actually had two people this week talk to me about it. And these are advanced students. They really want total freedom. So it's like as you let go of each shiny object that the ego gets excitement from, at a certain point all your major things are gone and you're still dis doing spiritual work. And then comes this field of absolute boredom, like I can't use on any toy at all. And these people are like really dedicated. They're often Hawking students. They want enlightenment. So it's like layers of the ego come up. Once you let the gross things, the gross addictions are like uh, food, alcohol, drugs, the opposite sex, TV, uh, there's probably a few others, gambling and whatnot, what but uh, those are the major ones. So you're just like letting this stuff, you stop, stop all the dating apps, stop the alcohol, stop the drugs, stop the dating websites. And then this boredom comes up, and it's like there's nothing to do, and the ego goes into this extreme boredom, and it can last. And then some. And what I'm getting from the two people I spoke to this week is they're losing their spiritual willingness, or their, or one was, you know, the, the fear of like you just explode, you can't take the boredom any longer. Um, now the thing to do with that, one of the things was is like if it's good if you've got a spiritual, uh, spiritual mentor. Who's bit, who knows what's happening, to speak to, because they can comfort you. <coughs> like I was saying to these, that's very, very advanced. Most people never get to that place where they put down the big toys of the ego, where they're really going for the full enlightenment. So the boredom is like a very rarefied... Now you're going into what I call the non-local fields of the ego. In the beginning, it's like when you speak to a beginner's spiritual student is like, well, put down the alcohol, put down the dating websites, put down the gambling, put down, put down the donuts, put down the, the muffins. So that's like behaviors. But once you put and, and put down the TV and the Netflix, you know, bin, TV binge watching. So that's the gross things. Those are easy to see. But then you've let that go and you've starved the ego. And now you go into like, this is advanced. Now you've just been bored all the time. So this is non-local. It's not like eating cakes and going to the donut shop. So that that can last for a while, but it's good then to um, have someone to encourage you and to say carry on with your spiritual work because. And what I'm saying to what one of the people I'm speaking to this week is like, you can mix up the spiritual techniques on boredom. So one of the things is like feel the feelings with boredom, just sit with it and allow it and don't resist. 
be one with the boredom, and that can seem to go on. Then practice being the observer of the boredom, and then pray for a miracle, and then sometimes pray for a miracle to see the boredom differently. Also, another one is uh, Hawkins' prayer is uh, a pray to the Holy Spirit uh, to reveal the boredom in truth, and to imp and also to impress upon my mind any symbolic lesson I need to learn from the boredom. So it's sometimes like you're going through endless boredom and it's like you're running out of steam, you can't take the boredom any longer. So mix up, you know, sometimes you just feel the feelings, non-resistance, be one with the boredom. Then see, and I was saying to this guy, he had, um, I said to him, are you bored every single second of the day? He said, no, actually, sometimes I'm not bored. So then, okay, so the observer is a, observes when boredom comes and goes. And if you know that there was a moment in the morning when there was no boredom, and this boredom's come, be, be aware that the observing of the boredom coming and going also occurred. So now you're bored, but there was a period in the morning when you're not bored. So that which is observing the boredom is also here. And that can start to help loosen and create a detached observing of the boredom. And plus you're doing the Course in Miracles on the boredom. So you just mix those up and keep going or speak to someone who can encourage you uh, to go through and, and face it. Because past, you know, once you get through boredom, that's extremely advanced. You've got someone to tell you, no, you know, you're in the top echelon. Most people never get to like that, you know, you let go of the gross things that excite the ego in the world. And now you're going through the, it's like, um, it's like, it's like the ego screaming for a toy scream give me a toy to play with because you know I'm dying I'm dying of boredom quite literally the ego is dying of boredom and it's saying no pick up a shiny toy so see it like see it as an inspiration to go through that and also know that if you've been inspired by teachers of enlightenment they uh, you know in some way grace will be with you to go through that you know like when I met Hawkins this one pointedness of mind which enlightened students have is like a ferocity and this is a high level test the boredom but uh, just just go through with it and connect with fellows it do, all, all things are finite you know boredom is a cloud uh, and boredom comes and goes but uh, don't yeah just just keep keep going and um, with that or if not just send me an email if you're on YouTube and I'll